everyone and welcome back to another video um, in this one I'm going to be showing you how I did these rose quartz nails um, I was really happy with the way these turned out um, I did do a video doing this design um, when I first started on YouTube um, so it was about two years ago um, and I've wanted to sort of redo it um, for a long time so I'm finally doing that today um, I'm, I'm going to be using polygel um, so the poly gel that I'm using um, is this light pink from EC Cosmetics, is the gel-like one. Um, and the reason I've used that is because it's quite, um, it's not as translucent, it's not as transparent, it's very um, sort of milky. And that's kind of what you need for a rose quartz. So I'm going to put a coat on all of the nails. Um, but I'm going to do it very, very thinly. So normally when you're applying poly gel and you're building a nail, you wouldn't be brushing it like this as much as I'm doing. Um, but I'm brushing it because I want it to be very, very thin layers. Um, so I'm going to do that to all the nails and then um, you need to put your sort of white patches and white lines on there. And so what I'm doing for that is um, I'm going to be getting some white gel polish and I'm just using the Eye Maley polish. So I'm going to put a drop of that onto a palette and then I'm going to mix that with some alcohol. And then I'll just sort of dab it over all the nails in, in sort of random patterns because you don't want it to be really uniform. It needs to be like, you know, quite random. And then I'll just go in um, with a little bit more alcohol and just sort of break those um, lines up. Um, but you, you can see from watching um, the way that I'm doing it. So it's kind of like less is more because you don't want loads and loads of white because um, rose quartz, it does have white running through it, but it's not, you know, you don't want to make all of your nails sort of cloudy and white. So to get that end look, we need um, different layers. So when I'm happy with how it all looks and I've broke it all up with the alcohol as much as I want, um, I will cure that even though um, it's only very thin and it's got alcohol in it. it. The alcohol will dry, but it does still need curing in the lamp. So I just put that in for about 30 seconds. Um, now on this first layer, I am making the white a bit more sort of prominent. So a bit more of the white on there, but on the upper layers that I do, I will um, do it a bit thinner so it's more like just lines because this is going to be right at the bottom so this is going to be quite far away you're not going to really see this as much as the you know the other layers so now i've got another eye maley polish this is 065 um, and it's a, a clear pink so this just gives it a bit of color um, and it covers up the white just a little bit it just gives it another dimension to the color what you could do is you could put it on in patches rather than all over the nail just to give it a different look and then i'm going in again with that poly gel and again i'm just putting a very thin coat over the entire nail it looks like i'm putting quite a lot on but that's just because the nail is quite the nails are quite long and it needs to cover them all but it is quite thin so obviously if you had a polish that was this colour, um, you could do it with that. You could do it with a builder gel that was this colour. Um, in fact, that's how I did the other video. Um, my very early one, I used builder gel. It's just I knew that this colour would go really well for this. So that's why I use this. And I like using poly gel. I find it really forgiving and quite easy to use. So again, that's going to go on all of the nails. I think I'm only going to show you me putting it on two nails because it's just exactly the same for all of them. And as you can see, as it's going on, it is covering that white up. You can still see it underneath, but it's not as strong as it was when it first went on. So I'm going to cure these for 60 seconds in the lamp just to make sure that everything's cured. And I've done the rest now. Um, and I'm just putting some more of the white on now. I've not wiped off the inhibition layer from the poly gel or anything like that. Um, but to be honest, this gel-like poly gel, it doesn't really have much of a sticky layer when it's been cured. Um, most of them do, but this one isn't really like that. It's, um, you know, you can touch it and it doesn't, it doesn't all come off on your fingers. 
So yeah, I'm just going in with the white again now. Um, obviously, I've sped this up and I'm just trying to make sure that these lines that I'm doing are a bit thinner than um, the first ones. And I'm trying to make them cross over with the other ones so that they sort of go over the top. But it's really important that you don't put too much on because if there's too much white on it, it just doesn't look, it doesn't look natural. And I, I mean, that's up to you if you want to do that, but I wanted them to look as, as natural as, as possible. So again, when I've done all that, I do put that in the lamp for 30 seconds just to make sure that that's not going to go anywhere when I put my next coat on. Because um, after I've done this white, I'm going to go in with that pink um, gel polish again. And then that'll get cured for, uh, for 30 seconds as well. So next I'm going in with this milky white, um, it's like a liquid poly gel from Model Wands um, and I really like, um, you know, the, the colour of this. So that is just going to go over each nail and it's just going to give that milky rose quartz colour. Because I thought that the, um, the pink was still a little bit pink. In hindsight, if I did it again... I probably wouldn't use that eye mailey pink um, polish. Um, but because I did, I decided to go over with this. But it's all about layering. And then when I'd done this, um, even though I'd just put the white over, I did want sort of a bit more dimension. So I did go on with another coat of the, um, the 065, the pink one. And it just helps. Um, just to get the right look. So when I've put that final layer of the pink on, um, I wipe off the inhibition layer. Uh, sorry, when I've cured it, I wipe off the inhibition layer and then um, I go in and I file and buff them uh, to the correct shape which is another reason for me to put this last coat of the pink on because it's just sort of extra protection if I've put too much poly gel on and I'm filing the nails into shape I don't want to be filing any of that white um, gel off so it's top coating time now and this is where those ro rose quartz nails are revealed and I absolutely love the way these turned out It is a bit fiddly and it's a bit of a faff, but it's so worth it. I mean, everyone does this in their own way. Um, you know, people like doing it in different ways and they like different looks, but this is how I like to do it. I mean, the way they turned out, they were a bit more pink than rose quartz actually is. It's, it's usually a bit lighter, but I, I love it being a bit more pink. So tell me what you think. Do you like this? Are you going to give this a go or have you already tried? Um, let me know in the comments.
So I hope you like this video. I really like recreating these nails. Um, tell me what you think. Have you tried this? Um, what do you think? Do you think I did a good job or do you think they're not, um, they're not real enough? Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Make sure that you all stay safe, stay at home. If you can, look after yourselves and those you love. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.